Alright, hello. This is my second video. This is right after the very first video I recorded on how to make sm smooth moving. This is now the side-on 2D movement thing that I promised. Uh, unless you're gonna... well, you just, you just don't need the down button, so you can delete the S pressed button. And now you just have to worry about three buttons, and it's going to be mainly W or jump or whatever key you use for jump. So I'm going to put space there instead. Uh, then you're going to so first thing you're going to do is go here and paint a sprite. Uh, this is going to be the ground. Convert it to you don't have to convert it to bitmap. I just use I just generally use bitmap because I like it more than vector. Uh, so this is just going to be the ground, so you can just create a line there. Well, you don't have to do this, but this is just my thing. It's just really simple. Just simple. So I can just show you. Uh, also, be sure to center the ground so it doesn't so it isn't like floating here. Unless you unless you want it to be, well, just center it. If you want there to be like some like platform up here, then you can just draw that on the sprite. So, yeah. and now we have this guy. So, first of all, we're gonna have some gravity in here. He needs gravity in order to be able to be pulled down to the ground so that he can jump. Uh, it's just some, well, let's just have it be 10. So, right, I'm just going to restart this. So, event, so in events, green flag, control, forever, and then if then and then you'll get the not block and then go to sensing oh not block is in operations go to sensing and get touching and then set it to whatever the name of your other of your ground sprite is which is sprite two here I'm just gonna... there we go so not touching the ground, you will go down, so have the y be a negative value. So now he falls to the ground when he spawns. Uh, I'm just gonna have him start at a certain spot when you press the flag, start the project. Uh, so now we do have moving left and right. And if we press space, he he does move up. So this is just well, this is flying actually. Uh, so anyway, we are going to do jumping here. There are a couple ways you can do this. You can just have him change change his Y by however high you want him to jump, and then just wait until. He's touching the ground before you can jump again. And in fact, you should move this to another block so it doesn't interrupt the moving left and right if you want to be able to move left and right while jumping. So, there we go, now we can move left and right while jumping. And, but this doesn't really look very good. When you jump, you don't really teleport up into the air. So, I am going to do something different. So, go to control, get the repeat block. Uh, let's have, oh, always have, however, when making a jumping code, always remember the gravity to, to so it's going to be, just imagine this minus the gravity, so he's actually moving five but I'm putting 15 there just to counteract the gravity. So, space pressed, he moves 5y up. 
for 10 ticks. I'm going to set that to 20, so he's going 10y up for 10 ticks. And then wait until touching ground. So now this is a much better jumping thing. Maybe faster jump, because you don't really float in midair for a while like that in real life. So, we have jumping now. And that's it for this video. I'm going to probably make another video about this, expanding on this. Goodbye.